Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in the bike room working on the e-bike again. Uh, I haven't been posting much footage out on the trail and the reason for that is because I've been running into some issues with the fork situation on the e-bike. If you guys follow the channel, you'll know that I'm running the Zitto 140mm fork on the e-bike. Um, that fork has been giving me some issues. The first issue is the fork tube is leaking on, uh, on the left side, I believe. Um, the other issue is that under hard braking, there's a lot of vibration from the fork. So I took that fork off the bike, I ordered some parts to do a fork rebuild on that. In the meantime, I put on this Manitoba fork. This is a 150 millimeter travel fork. Uh, and I've been using that just to get by, but it's not the perfect fork for this bike. And if you've been following the channel for some time now, you'll know that on the Carbon 29er, I run a 160 millimeter Homalo fork, and that fork has been absolutely amazing. So when Homalo released this new fork, this is their 180 millimeter downhill fork. Uh, this fork uh, is advertised for e-bike use. The lower stanchions on this are significantly thicker than even the Manitoba or the Zitto 140mm fork that was previously on this bike. So give you a couple of close-ups of this, go over this fork, and then we're going to install it on the e-bike and see if that solves our issues. All right, so here's the fork. This is the, they call it the Homalo 36. I'm sure it's very similar to the Fox 36. It's a 180 millimeter travel fork. It has rebound on the bottom. It has compression adjustment on the top. Location for adjusting the air pressure. It does not have a remote lockout on this model. There is the option to purchase this fork with remote lockout. Personally, I never use remote lockout and I decided to just save a couple of bucks and I opted not to go for that. Now, the only thing that comes with this fork other than the fork itself is a new star nut. It does not come with the bottom race. It doesn't come with any of the components. It doesn't come with anything you need to rebuild this fork, uh, which is a stark difference from the Zitto 140 millimeter fork. Uh, that fork came with new O-rings it came with new wipers, it even came with new foam inserts to do a complete fork servicing on that fork. So it would have been nice to see this fork come with some parts for routine maintenance. One of the other things I do wanna point out about this fork, um, which is nice, is that I plan on running in a, a light with my e-bike and on the back of the fork here, there is actually a spot to mount a mud guard. There are three threaded holes in this with an indent for uh, a front fender, uh, which is very nice because I'll be able to use this threaded hole uh, to mount my light on. So that's kind of a nice touch to see on here. The other forks did not have that. With that said, let's get the other fork removed from the bike and uh, let's get this installed. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put the fork on and measure it before I cut it. So we'll get the fork installed here. We'll get our, all of our spacers, our rings, our dust cap. I also run a small carbon spacer. Flip the bars on here. And what you want, you want the top of the stem cut slightly shorter than, the, than your stem. And the reason for that is so that when you put your top cap on and you tighten that down, it is actually drawing the fork up in and, and compressing everything down. If you have this cut too high and you put this on there, it's only compressing down on the tube and not squeezing the stack together. So keep that in mind when you're measuring uh, to score your line, but cut slightly below it. All right, so we can see on the fork here, the score mark that we made. I'm going to cut my fork 
using a Harbor Freight pipe cutter. These are $3 from Harbor Freight. They work great. I've always cut my forks down this way. They, they work perfect. I know some people use a hacksaw, some people use a jig. Uh, I've never had any issues with this. our star nut installed we can start putting this together we have our bottom race on in the correct orientation feed the fork up through get our dust cover and our carbon spacer Slide our fork on there, or our stem. Perfect. Our top cap. And our bolt. All right guys, so we're turned around here. We are going to go down that big climb that we just came up. See how the front fork handles it. I'm going to reset my, my O-ring here. Get my pedal set up. All right, here we go. I'm going to intentionally take the bad line on this. All right, handled that pretty well. Got another little section here. There we go. You guys can see there using about, about 60% of travel there on that just that little rough technical section. You know, for the price, that's not bad. I mean, felt amazing. I not once did I feel coming down that that uh, I wasn't in control. I even took the terrible line, was hitting some of the bigger rocks on purpose. And, you know, this fork just soaks it up with uh, 180 millimeters of travel and all the adjustment that it has. It's, uh, it's pretty cush. All right, here we go, real aggressive section. Really put this Chinese fork through the test. Handling it really well. Just soaking it up, felt in control the entire time. See if we can't get up this really difficult section here. easy well i shouldn't say easy that was a little difficult even even on an e-bike but I think the front fork is doing very well. It's very plush. Lots of travel. I'm not worried about bottoming out. Rebound is good. installation for the Hamalo 180mm DH fork. 
I can't recommend the Homalo brand stuff enough. Their products and the finish and you know how they perform is absolutely top notch. If you're on a budget and looking for a budget fork, I would definitely go straight to the Homalo brand stuff. They're uh, absolutely great products. I can't wait to get out on the trail this weekend. I'm gonna shoot some video of how well this fork reacts on the trail through some really rough terrain. Um, if you guys have any questions about this fork, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer any of the questions that you have. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, we're going to be heading out to Philadelphia and getting a lot of riding on the local trails in Philadelphia. So definitely stay tuned for that. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.